Makeup has become a very big part of many of our lives. And each of us may have our own unique techniques. But we all have one common problem. We can't make it last throughout the day. So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can use skincare in order to make our makeup last all day. Hey guys, my name is Bahar and I'm excited about sharing my knowledge and personal experiences about skincare with you. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you too can join our community. We all know how important skincare is, but it's actually very crucial for when you want to do your makeup. Maybe you're using the best brands possible, maybe you're using every single technique right, but your makeup still looks blotchy or your dry patches are seeming through. That can go back to how you're preparing your skin before doing your makeup. It doesn't matter how well your techniques work, it doesn't matter how good your products are, if your skin is not prepared, your makeup will not look the way you want it to. So, let's talk about a few tips you can do in order to make your makeup look flawless and last throughout the entire day. First, we all know that you have to have a clean slate in order to do your makeup, but when you do wash your face, it's important how you do your skincare after you wash it. Exfoliating or even shaving can be very beneficial to your makeup. Why? Because first, exfoliation does remove all of the dead skin cells that can give that uneven, blotchy look to your makeup or even shaving can help get rid of all of the peach fuzz and it also works as a physical exfoliant. Contrary to popular belief, shaving does not cause your hair to grow back thin. After you shave them, the hair will grow back the same way. When you do shave, your face is much smoother, it's much more even, so in the result, your makeup will look much evener and you have a much more even application on your foundation or any other makeup product that you're using. Next, hydration. This is probably one of the most steps in your skincare before applying your makeup, especially if you have dry skin or dehydrated skin. If you don't hydrate your skin before applying your makeup, there is a 100% chance that your makeup will look blotchy or your dry patches will seep through and they will be invisible visible actually sorry after a few hours so if you don't want that to happen it's important to use hydrating serums such as hyaluronic acid or any product other product that you have and you like and a moisturizer that is compatible with your skin type if you want to hydrate even more you can use hydrating toners or even essence these are beneficial for your skin and they will make your makeup last throughout the day and look flawless without needing to touch it up. Next is your sunscreen. I know finding a sunscreen that is compatible with your skin type is a real pain, but you need it in order to be protected from UV rays. I have talked about this numerous times and I will keep talking about it because it's an important topic. You need protection from the sun and no, the SPF in your makeup products are not nearly as enough protection as you need. They are good products. I have nothing against makeup products that have SPF in them, but they are not enough for your protection on their own. It's okay if you want to use them on top of your separate sunscreen, but you need a sunscreen under all of your makeup in order to be protected. Using products that have an SPF of maybe like 20 or 15, that's mostly the range that they have, can give you extra protection from the sun, but again, I will say, it's not enough on their own. Next, a primer. Every person that is into makeup knows that you need a primer in order to have an even application of your makeup and well, it can protect your skin from these chemicals, from these makeup products, but Good news, there are some sunscreens out in the market right now that also work as a primer. So you can have two products in one. Who knew? 
Skincare has become very popular in the past few years, especially after the coronavirus pandemic because, well, we didn't have anything better to do to, than to watch YouTube. But they have been around even before that, but after the pandemic, they have gotten more popularity. And different brands have seized this opportunity and given out products that are a hybrid of both skincare and makeup, which I personally love because you're getting a skincare and a makeup in one. They do act as a makeup product, but they also have ingredients like niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, or even SPF and other ingredients that can both benefit your skin and protect it from different chemicals that might harm your skin. I personally love them, especially brands that have given out products that are compatible with different skin types. For example, Maybelline has given out the Fit Me Foundation, which is long lasting, has SPF, and is compatible with different skin types. For example, they have one for oily skin, they have one for dry skin, which I think is very beneficial, if, especially if you want your makeup to last all day and another point they don't harm your skin for example if you have oily skin and you use a foundation that is made for dry skin well that's not going to look good on your skin type by using a product that is specifically made for your skin type you are going to have a better chance at having a makeup look that is going to look flawless and is going to last throughout the entire day Last step in making your makeup last throughout the entire day is setting it. Now, it depends on the type of look you're going for. If you want a more dewy look, it's best to go with a setting spray. If you want to look more matte throughout the day, it's best to go with a finishing powder. Both of them are very good. Both of them are, well, good at their job, at what they're supposed to do. But again, it depends on what you want to do. If by any chance you look oilier when you want to look matte or you look matter when you want to look dewy just another spray or just a powder on the nose can help you achieve that flawless makeup again you don't need to reapply your entire makeup in order to have that flawless look that you had in the beginning of your makeup routine follow all of these steps and i almost 100 percent guarantee you you will have a flawless makeup for more than three hours. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. 